Hi guys, it's Ashley with my Soul on Fire, and I am back finally. Um, I took. Okay, so here's how I'm going to start. I am going to start with some painter's tape. Oh my goodness, I've just been getting my fingerprints all over this. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I've got my painter's tape, and you can use whatever tape you want. I like the thickness of this. You can use masking tape too, which is pretty much the same thickness. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a piece of the tape off here, and I am going to get it About halfway, I'm gonna get it there, and okay. So I laid it about halfway across, and then I'm just going to take this piece and go down as straight as I can down the side onto the bottom where I'm going to rip this off like that. Then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing, going straight down. Try not to there we go. Try not to let it angle. So I've got it going straight down across the middle and then straight down on both sides. Now I rip off the bottom part. I made that piece a little bit too big. I try not to do that because it's a little wasteful. Um, and then in the middle, just rip it apart, pop those down, and you got it. Okay. So there we go. That's our first stripe for the buffalo plaid. Okay, second stripe for the buffalo plaid is I am going to go, I need to stand up for this, I'm going to go about 120 degrees. Let's say about like maybe that. Let's see how that goes. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. About 120 degrees, about that. Okay. You're basically just making an X now here. Going to bring this down, and I want it to be about the same width here. So there we go. That's pretty good. There we go. All the way down, and then along this side. All the way down as well. Okay, I don't like where that one's laying. There we go. You want to make sure that it's completely straight across, and it was not. So straight across from that other side, and then you should end up with an even perfect. Okay. Good. So that part's good. With that, done. Then we're going to do it one more time. And that's just in between these two now. Equal in between. Whoop! And I keep doing that. Equal in between those. Okay? I'm going to do that. Go all the way down. Same thing. So, now I've got that part done. I'm going to finish this up just like I did the others. Ooh. So that's pretty good. You know what? This one I don't like. I don't feel like this one goes straight up and down. So that's another thing I like about not using the paint is that if I don't like it, if I feel like this one's slanting a little bit, I can pull it up really quick and kind of reposition that tape. Straighten that out and now, now I like that positioning of the tape. I felt like it was just a little crooked and I want to have these, see this one, well no, no, that one's pretty good. I think it's this one. 
that I just want to straighten a little bit as well. You want it to go straight up and down. That's better. Okay, so it's pretty good now. Not going to be perfect, but that's pretty darn close. Okay, so that's step one. Now, all right, so on to the next step. So the next step that we're going to be doing is the pieces going this way. So you want to take the tape, you want your pieces, you want your squares to be as even as possible. So you want to make sure that you're measuring out your width and that you're not um, readjusting as you're going around. You want to try and keep it as even as possible going around. Um, <clears throat> That. Um, so however you want to do it if you want to measure it out first I kind of do it by sight and sometimes I have to pick it up and go back over it again um, but that's just me um, I'm not really the measure it out plan ahead kind of girl um, but so I start I've got my square I say okay I want my plaid square to be about that so I start my uh, tape to be about there. What you can do is kind of, um, you can absolutely like measure from here to here on each side. Um, I have done that before. I don't, however, today, I don't know where my um, measuring tape is. So I think I'm gonna have to eyeball this bad boy, but that's okay. Um, actually I can do, what I can do, um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I can't find my, my little tape measure thing, so a good thing that you can do is put like a piece of paper up to it, make a little line to where it starts and then just make sure that as you go around you're matching that line. Um, what I will usually do is kind of take it around trying not to, you know, trying to be as straight as possible. And then I'll just measure usually with my little ruler or something, but I don't know where it is right now. I'm just gonna measure all the way around, make sure that they're about the same size. And these all look perfect. I'm sorry. Okay, let's turn that off, sorry. Um, my husband. Um, so anyway, <laughs> now we are going to um, start our next one here. About the same width. Now how I do this is I also um, should point out, and I don't know why I didn't do this. I usually do this. I usually take the one end of my tape and I fold just a slight bit of it down, lay it down so that there's like a little bit of a flap here. So that when it's time to peel it off, I can grab that flap and peel it. So now for this one.
I'm going to take that piece of paper and measure that square. A little bit more. How's that? It's pretty good. Alright. Maybe a little bit less there. Okay. And now we're going to go around with this one. It's not going to be perfect. Um, it's a craft and that's what I always say I always put like a disclaimer on my stuff like hey this is a handcraft guys <laughs> if you're looking for perfection you know that's come to the wrong place okay there we go and I got my little flap there again so that I can peel it off easily I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way down and I will come back So this is done, well, I mean, it's done up to that point. Um, okay, so um, the first glitter that I'm going to be using is a Flamingo from Shimmer Tree. Um, this is my glitter, actually. Um, for those of you that didn't realize that, this is my glitter. Um, so although I am not, um, I'm going to be using Night Sky from Shimmer Tree as well. I also have this color, and it's a bummer because I'm not sure... I'm not sure what this color is. <laughs> it looks like... Um, it's not one of mine. It looks like it might be Sangria from Lily's Glitter. Um, I'm not positive. I think that's what it is. Uh, I usually log these before I put them in these containers, and this one somehow missed that. Um, so the glitters that I have that aren't mine, I do typically have logged. Um, but I do know that their Sangria does look a lot like this, so... I, I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. Um, and then I am also using a silver that is mine. Um, I will show you that when we get to that. It's basically just a silver metallic glitter um, that I haven't even named yet. So we're going to get to that as well. But I am using that too. So... Okay. So the first color that I'm going to use is this darker color. We're going to call it the Sangria because I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge. I always get the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I think it's probably silly because it's under so much epoxy. But there's this part of me that's like, yeah, yeah, I definitely need <laughs> It's going to be washed, so I definitely need dishwasher safe. I don't think you really do. Um, it's just one of my weird, quirky things that I do. Um, I use a softer brush. I don't like the coarser brushes with this because um, of the fact that um, you want to make sure that you've got a smooth layer of glitter and not a chunky one. So I'm going to go all down one side here with a layer of Mod Podge. You don't want to do more than one side with your layer of Mod Podge because you don't want it to start to dry before you put this glue on. You want to make sure that it is, or glitter on. You want to make sure that there are no chunks. And then we're going to take this first color of glitter, pop it on like that. And I'm basically going to do all of these open squares with this darker color. Okay. Oh, I just realized you probably can't even see my whole cup there. Okay. Okay. 
I think I'm actually going to go back over and do one more light coat. And this, when you do a second coat, it really doesn't need much. You basically just very lightly tap it or you're going to be pulling off other glitter like that. And now you've got a real nice coat. You see the difference there? Also, always make sure that you've got it in like you've got your stuff in a container. Because you don't want um, to get glitter in your container of um, Mod Podge. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do this whole thing. Of course, also make sure that it's um, dry before you do this part too. So I will be right back. All right, so now that I've got this done, um, I don't like where that's at. Okay, all right guys, so now that I've got this done, I am going to find those tabs and I am going to pull these off. You can see also that I put all of my excess back. Um, that's why I put the paper down. A little bit's gonna fall off, but that's okay because my next thing that I'm gonna do is gonna have a little bit of this color in it, so it's not gonna matter. Okay. So now I've got this. I know it doesn't look like much, but bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so for my next thing, I'm going to take an empty glitter container, and I am going to put some of my lightest color, which is my Flamingo. I'm going to put some of that in this container. It's always better to have a little too much of the mixture than not enough. You're going to use a lot of the mix. Um, so I've got some of that, and then I'm going to mix in with it some of this Sangria. I start off with a little bit okay. start off with a little bit I'm going to shake it up you want it to be lighter than this but darker than this and I think I'm going to need some more sangria in there And the good thing about it is this is going to be a gorgeous color, too, so I wouldn't even worry about, ooh, she's making too much. No, that's going to be a real pretty pinkish, dark pinkish color. Okay. There's that. Next to that. That's better. So you, now you can see the contrast a little bit more. Okay, so, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, and again, this doesn't really matter if you've got a little bit of glitter left on it from before, because this next bit of glitter is a combination of the light glitter and this glitter here, so we should be good. So we want to be very careful, hold on, I want to wipe off my brush a little bit. You want to be very careful when doing this and this is why I like to use a really smooth brush because now you're going to go in these little squares here and you're going to very carefully start at the bottom here work your way into here with this smooth brush it works out really nicely because there's no lines. You can very easily, oops, I'm not quite in center. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you can very easily make clumps. So just make sure that you're not doing that. I'm going to do a couple of these at a time. And I'll go from the bottom up 
to get that sharp line on the bottom and then I'll go from the top up to get that sharp line on the top. Now I'm going to take some of this mixed color and I'm going to hit both of those with it. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous! Okay, now let's move along and once again I'm going to show you how I go from the top down and then from the bottom up. here from the top down and again it's okay if I'm bringing some of that color in because it's in there anyway perfect okay look at that beautiful contrast there that looks really nice I'm going to continue on I'm going to show you again the bottom is really easy but then the middle here we go from the top down and then from the bottom up it's hard doing it at this angle so you guys can see but and you see how there are no brush strokes in there you can barely even tell that I did Put Mod Podge there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this all the way around. Okay, so that part's done. And now it's time to pull these pieces off. Look how beautiful and clean that looks. Let's pull those pieces off. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Set it down. So right away you can see how much better it looks when you, you know, <laughs> take the tape off. But now is the tricky part because now is the part where you've got to do the mixture um, and you've got to kind of make it um, in between these. You've got to kind of make your own little square. So I'm going to use the same glitter that I've been using, the mix, but I am going to, I'm going to start up here actually with the top because that'll be easiest. And I'm going to make my own little square here. And you just got to try and make it as straight as you possibly can. Just like this. And then I'm going to come down to this one. And do it just like that. Let's cross our fingers. Ooh, I almost just dumped glitter on it instead of sprinkling it. And there we go. See where we're going now. And now I put two coats on this again, too. So I'm going to go back and put two coats on these once I'm done, too. So I'm just going to keep, I'll let you watch me do a few more of these. You just have to have a real steady hand, no clumps. And I usually start in the middle and then sort of, whoop, I've got a clump on my brush. Um, sort of work my way out with the glue.
um, if you find yourself you can always kind of push it out if you don't like where it's going there we go and we're going to go down to this one So obviously you don't put the mixture next to the mixture. You put the mixture next to this darker color. Okay, not perfect. Let me actually go in my finger, fix this one a little bit because I don't like what I did there and that will be fixed on my second time around too. It's not going to be perfect necessarily but we're going to keep doing this. And I will come back in a few minutes. Okay. I am back and this part is done and now we just have to do the last bit. With the lightest pink, we're going to go in and do each of these little squares. So, let's start that. I am also, let's get going. This is pretty easy. I mean, I probably don't even need to show you, but I will show you a few. Um, we'll start here at the bottom. And we just very carefully, again, fill that in without brush strokes. And then up here. There are probably going to be a few little stragglers there, but nothing big. Oops, on the side of my shaker. And now we're going to put that lighter color here. Beautiful. Okay, you see that? And then when we go in with the second coat is when you'll really see the contrast a lot better. Um, an another thing I can probably say too is, as you noticed, I'm, I'm using a little bit of shimmer tree glitter in this, but not all. Um, I don't typically buy a whole lot of glitter anymore because I have so much having shimmer tree. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to, before I had shimmer tree, I was buying, you know, lots and lots of glitter from people. Um, I'm not just going to get rid of that. I'm going to use it and I'll still tell you when I'm using somebody else's glitter. Um, like I did today. Um, but um, I'm not ever going to have every single color imaginable. I don't foresee myself ever having um, a glitter shop that is that um, huge because, like I said, I have a lot of jobs on my plate right now. Um, so I probably won't ever have that. Um, I will never, ever, ever tell you not to go someplace else, not to buy glitter from someplace else, because we all have um, a lot of cool different things. And um, you want to experience all of that. You don't want to just go to one place. Check them all out. Everybody has some different stuff. And... Um, You'll be missing out if you just stick to one, you know, one place all the time. Just make sure that where you're going has glitter of a certain quality. That's all I ask. Okay. So, here is part of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Mod Pot... Oh. I forgot to do the bottom. I'm going to coat the bottom. Um, I usually just coat the bottom with um, whatever color I'm feeling on the cup. Um, I think I might actually just... I don't know. 
Wow. I don't know. I'm going to look at it and see what color I want to coat it with. Um, but I am going to let this completely dry. Once it is completely dried, I'm going to seal it. And then I'm going to come back and show you the next step to take this plaid over the top. Hi, I'm back. So I let this dry overnight to make sure that the Mod Podge underneath was good and dry. And then before this next part, I actually got this Rust-Oleum um, Crystal Clear Enamel Spray and I sprayed the heck out of this thing. I gave it a really good, nice coat of this and let this dry. Um, so now that that is dry, it's less likely, aside from the fact that I've still got some of the glitter on the table. Um, but now that it's nice and dry and it's not like coming off a whole lot when you're touching it, we can move on to the second part. Now I had said at one point that I was probably going to put my night sky and some silver on here, but now that I'm actually seeing the cup, um, sort of in this finished state. I think I'm going to change that. Um, I think I might actually use some of my Sandcastle. This is a um, Shimmer Tree glitter. And I think, I, oh, that's okay. That's what the thing here is for. Um, but I, I think I might actually use the Sandcastle for this next part. And what I have is I have this really thin, you can use whatever thickness you want, um, I prefer the really thin for this part. Um, you can actually get it even thinner than this. Um, but I'm going to use this thickness right here. This is the thinnest one that I have right now um, to do this next part. So this is just, I, I guess I should say, this is double stick tape, guys. So what I'm going to do is now I've decided I'm going to put stripes down um, the lighter. A lot of times I do it down the darker, um, but I feel like I ended up making the lighter sections a little slightly thicker than the darker sections, so I think that this will look better. The thicker sections will look better with the stripe down it. Just my opinion. Hello. Do whatever you want. Okay, so we've got a strip of this and I am going to start it from the bottom. I'm going to look and see what I think you can start from the top or the bottom, whatever, but I'm going to get it right, maybe go a little bit over and make it, I want it to be pretty much halfway down this stripe. I'm going to make it go all the way down and then I'm going to cut this at the top. And Now I'm going to push this down pretty well, push it down really well, and now that, that is pushed down pretty well, now I'm going to try and pull this double stick tape up. I'm going to be honest, it's not going to be incredibly easy um, from this end. So I usually try to do this end because this end is kind of just sticking out there. It doesn't stick as well. This end came up beautifully. You can see where that tape is. And now I'm just going to take and, ooh, I got a little piece of hair stuck. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put this all up that and then shake that off. How pretty is that? So pretty. And what I do at this point is I get just like a little, like a little old sticky paintbrush. Ooh, nothing that has anything on it, just like something like this with like 
some kind of furry bristles and I take it not on this um, paper because I don't want to get it all mixed in with my gold. Whoop, let me move that to the side but on a different paper. Oh goodness. Here we go. On a different paper you can see where a little bit of that gold, I don't know if you can see that or not, got into my plaid but I'm just going to very lightly kick that off. Good. Here we go. And kind of clear that up to make it really nice sharp lines. It doesn't need much because it's pretty good. How cool is that? Okay, um, now I'm going to keep doing this down each, basically every other, every lighter colored um, stripe. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of this. I'm gonna put back into this container and then I'm gonna put it back into my bigger container. I don't actually have that color in a shaker yet. So I've got all of these lines done. Perfect. So now I am going to go crosswise. Okay, so I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. Um, I always do this. I usually have like an idea in my head of what I'm gonna do, but I don't have an exact, um, an exact thing in my head until I get started and I kind of go from there. Um, but I think I'm gonna do the crossways, the exact same color on the, um, on the light sections going this way now to get started. I might add to this in a few minutes, but let's get started with that now. So with this, I am going to pick a spot to start. And I usually just do so that I'm not, um, I usually try to start it. Halfway. I usually try to start them um, in the same spot on all one, so there's one seam going around. Um, and I'm going to start it there. I've got it about halfway. And um, I'm going to move this around here until I hit this. And once I come around and hit that, I am actually going to take that to get it out. I'm actually going to take my little Arteza tool here. I feel where that is. And I'm going to slice it there so that it I knew that was going to happen because I've got something on the tip of this. Sorry, I had something on the tip of my blade which was causing it to not cut. Okay, and we're going to go that way. Cut through it like that until it meets up perfectly and seamlessly. And now I'm going to push it all the way around. Push it down to make it stick. I got those so close together now it's hard to even pull it up. Here we go. Where's my goodness? Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Good. Okay, you can see how I pulled that. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Oh! <laughs> Good thing that landed on some paper. Really wasn't paying attention there. Just got that all over my hand. 
Okay, good. And now I'm going to bring this over to my other paper where I can lightly go over it and get it out of any spot that it doesn't belong. There we go. Woohoo! That looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do that in every single spot, um, light spot going this way. And then I will be back. Okay. Okay, so I brought you back before I glittered these three. We're gonna go on here. Glitter these three all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to bring that other Okay, so I figured out what I was going to do. I mixed, I made a mixture um, of this, which is actually a color I got from BulkGlitters.com. I will look up the actual name of this color and post it down below. Um, it's not, it, they don't come in these containers. I switched them. And then I mixed some of that... Um, what was this? Some of the flamingo. Sorry, I forgot which color I used for a minute. I mixed some of the flamingo with that to make it kind of a, you can kind of see here. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a really, it looks dark, I think, in the video. But it's actually a really light sort of um, silvery gold pink. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the opposite ways into the darker sections. I'm going to do it this way. You don't have to go on. You can end it where you had it already. That's fine too. Do whatever works for you. You don't, you can stop it before it even gets to these extra lines here. This whole thing is not necessary either. If you don't want to do this part, don't do this part. That's the beauty of these cups is that it's completely up to you and your creativity. If you wanna watch what I do and do exactly what I do, I don't care, that's fine, do that. Doesn't bother me at all, that's why I'm here. I'm showing you how to make them. Um, I make very few, I, I take very few cup orders anymore, I just don't have time. Um, I do it for friends and family, um, people that I know, you know, close friends of friends and family. But other than that, I don't, take cup orders online anymore um, because I can't I just can't do it all with you know my other job too so I've got to keep it got to keep it real I've got way too many things going on at once so I've got that and I'm just gonna go around and do all of these first and then Okay, so I am going to show you what to do too. If you get one, uh oh, if you get one that isn't sticking very well, which mine aren't having too much of, of a problem, but a little bit of a difficulty, sometimes it'll come undone at the top. Be careful because you don't want to just take it and pull it, you're going to mess it up. I very lightly start at the bottom and kind of drag my finger down lightly. Do not push too hard or you're going to mess it all up. And then just drag it down lightly and it helps stick it to the cup a little bit better.
Okay. And then we're going to do one more pink stripe across all the dark. I should say not pink, but the same mix that I've been using. I just don't like what it does. And so now I'm going to go in here. I've got to get this scooped back up. Okay. Perfect. Let's move that away. And now I'm just going to go in each little thing and just brush it very lightly to make sure that there are no colors anywhere that they're not supposed to be. Um, but yeah, I think it looks awesome and I can't wait. Um, again, the epoxy that I use is Art Resin Epoxy. Um, I have had a lot of people, I have had a lot of people, um, sort of uh, give me a little problem um, in the comments about not using a ventilator mask. I use Art Resin. There are no VOCs. There are no fumes. It is a very safe um, epoxy resin. It's not like a lot of the epoxy resins out there. A lot of them out there, I absolutely would take every precautionary measure possible. The art resin, as long as you're using it as directed and not adding anything to it that would cause it to give off VOCs or fumes, it's actually a very, very safe epoxy resin and it works beautifully. It, um, thank you guys again for um hanging with me while i do this uh i really had a lot of fun with this one i think it turned out pretty cool and i hope to see you again soon don't forget if you haven't already like and subscribe um i would not be here if it wasn't for you and I really appreciate all of the love that I get from so so many of you don't forget you can always join my Facebook page as well um